Hey guys, welcome back to the Sullivan family. So uh, yeah, um, we were hoping to be able to put a vlog together about Cadonis. We went to Cadonis yesterday in Aberdeen, um, but unfortunately the day didn't pan out as we thought it would. Um, we did start the vlog, didn't we, before we left the house? We did. But um, it was a disaster, <laughs> to say the least. It was oh. It's terrible. It was an awful day. I've never been anywhere so just awful. Just so we, we let's just, so we don't normally we're not we're not normally the type of people that moan about things, and we always try and make the most of things. We always try and make the best of things. I said that in my, my blog last night. Yeah, so I was really angry, and I said, you know, I don't I don't like complaining about things. I don't I don't like upsetting people. I don't like complaining like especially with the kids around and everything like that so normally you know we will just try and make the best of a situation yeah. even if things are going wrong because things can go wrong for lots of reasons yeah. sometimes it's on our part sometimes you know the kids are unhappy sometimes things just go wrong and normally we'll just try and make the best out of situations so we've had plenty of things that have gone wrong in the past and we've just tried to make even if we're upset about something we've just tried to make the most of it for the kids sake more than anything yeah um, because, you know, we can go away later and be upset about it and feel a bit bad about it. But as long as the kids have had a good time, then we will try and make the most of it. But yesterday was just, it was a disaster from start to finish. So we tend to um, save for these big days out. I mean, um, we, right. don't, we, don't, we don't go on holidays. Put it into and... perspective. The last three years, obviously, we had 2020, which was COVID. Um, and, you know, that was an awful situation for everybody. But we did... Still, the kids had a great summer, didn't we? Because we had yeah. good weather and they spent most of the garden in the su summer in the garden and we made the most out of the situation, you know, and it, and it actually was, it was, despite the circumstances, it was probably the best summer we've had in a long time because we were all at home and we it's all got fun. to spend time together because we were lucky we could all be here together. Um, you were working from home, so it was, you know, we, we had us all here and we were safe and it was, you know, it was good. Last year, we couldn't go anywhere because we didn't have the transport. Yeah. So we didn't have, we were down to one both car. of our cars were busted. So we had to get one replacement car just so we could get around and about. That was all we could afford. So we couldn't, we couldn't go anywhere as a family unless we, you know, went on the bus or got a taxi or something. So we tended to do things around here. So this year we saved up and we said to the kids, you know, we would really like to do a couple of big days out. Um, where would you like to go? Obviously Landmark was one of them. Um, Highland Wildlife Park was another one. And they were like, we'd really like to go to, go to Cadonas. It's been we've been one time before, I think one time before, years ago, years and it? years ago. Years ago. Um, and it was okay. I think I don't think it was anything spectacular, but it was all right. It was okay. You know what is what it was. Um, I think we went with friends, which probably made it quite, which made it better because obviously we were there with friends. Um, we didn't have any major issues with it last time, did no. we? So we were like, right, okay, well, if we can afford to go to those three places, we'll save up because it's quite a lot of money. You know, when you add up all, however many of us there is, each of these places can cost like, like £300 for a, for a day visit. So, you know, we've saved up and kind of skimmed on other things so that we can afford to take them. Obviously, the price of fuel at the moment is ridiculous. So that was another factor on top, but that would have been wherever we wherever we went um but yesterday's tickets were like 270 quid you have to book them online you have to book everything online now um so you don't get a choice in you know you can't just get up in the morning and go we're going to go somewhere because obviously so, you have to book it so for those of you that don't know Cadonis is um it's a theme park well, it's an amusement Aber park an, amu park. an amusement park theme in, park's in a big stretch in Aberdeen so um it's quite well known up here but it's along yeah. the beachfront in in Aberdeen it's you know, it's got, we used to have a roller coaster and a log flume, but we knew they weren't there. But it's got like some kiddies rides. It's got some, oh, it's got the waltzers. It's like a fun fair kind of thing, but it's got a big soft play in it. It's, you know, it's definitely not worth 22 quid a ticket but booking online. But it's, you know, it's got a bowling alley and it had food in with the price as well. So it's like, well, OK, you know, maybe. But I bought like for the little ones, I bought a full price ticket for them because I knew that they'd probably want to go on the waltzers and things like that. Now, we've never had any problems with the kids, the younger ones going on with the older ones. No. So any other park we've been to, never had any problems. For this one, apparently, when we got there, 
after we would got there, they all had their bands put on. Nobody told us that there was any different. Um, went into the park, tried to go on rides. The little ones couldn't go on with the older ones. They weren't allowed. The first ride they tried to go on was the waltzers. They wouldn't let them on because they were under the height and they needed to be on with an adult who was over 18. Okay, so terms and conditions, if you can find them, when you do find them, it does actually say, you know, they have to, anybody under 52 inches has got to be accompanied by an adult. Yeah. So, you know, you can say that that's our fault for not reading every single little piece of legislation before you go to a park. But, you know, who does that, really? But people will say, people on here will slate me and say, well, you should have done that. You're a parent. You should read. So I should basically read every single little thing before going anywhere. Whatever. We've been to plenty of places before where even the fun fair, where the little ones can go on with the older ones. Yeah. Now, for some parks, we have to pay adult price tickets for Lizzie and Livy because they're 17 and 16. So they are classed as adults. Sometimes the over 15 year olds are classed as a full paying adult. So I have to pay full price adult tickets for them at other places that we go to. So what and nowhere on I couldn't find on their site anywhere that said that adult had to be over 18 yeah so no, they've no. they've I couldn't find it, it said and a pay an adult but it didn't say over 18 so in my mind the little ones could go on with either Elizabeth or Olivia and then obviously we've got the twins as well who are nearly 15 but no they weren't allowed on any of those rides with I, it wasn't just us complaining there were so many other families complaining going I can't take the kids on rides because they want an 18 year old an over 18 year old with them well there's only me and I can't take I can't take three exactly. kids on so I obviously had the baby I had a baby with me so I can't just yeah. leave the baby and, and go off or you you know one of us had to stay with the baby um it, you can just walk out of the park onto the main road so you know I can't just leave any of the little ones milling around one of us has to be with them I didn't want it to be the older one's responsibility all day to look after them because I wanted them to go off and have, have fun as fun. well First thing we get there, there's no parking. There's like 20 parking spaces for the whole of... And then I suddenly remembered, oh yeah, I remember now, there's no parking. So we go out and we park in the car park behind where you can literally stand and look at Cadona's. But you can't get down there. So you're up on a higher level and Cadona's car park is down there. So you have to jump over a wall to get down there. Now I've got the pram. So we had to jump everybody over the wall, take the pram apart, take the pram, you know, get the pram squeezed between two cars to get down onto the flat ground or walk 20 minutes round. So, you know, we had a booking in time, which we were already a little bit late for because yeah. it had been a bit of a nightmare journey. Um, so you know, that was the first hurdle, which was a pain. But we got there, we got in there. The lady actually on the desk when we got there was really nice. She's probably the only member of staff in there that had any customer service training because she was actually really pleasant. Everybody got their bands put on. We weren't really told about anything that they couldn't go on. All we were told was that the ride didn't open till 12. But if we wanted to go and do the mini golf first, we could. So we went off down to the mini golf. We all got our golf clubs, everything else. And then we see, she says, you can't take the buggy round. So I'm like, right, OK, well, I'll sit out. You go and take them to the mini golf. So Ben went with them around the mini golf track and I sat and I fed the baby and sat out of that one. You know, that's fine. That happens. You're a parent. These things happen. But I sat and fed the baby um, who and behind me were people that were just chain smoking, really. Now, I've got no problem with smokers, you know, whatever. I don't have a problem with people smoking. What I do have a problem with is the whole place. There's no designated smoking areas. So the whole place, you can smoke wherever you like. And everywhere I sat to try and feed the baby or to try and sit with the kids, there was people smoking. So everywhere. You go somewhere like Landmark and you don't. There's a designated smoking area. I went to Walton Towers 20 years ago and there was a designated smoking area. Mm -hmm. So, you know, no. Why should... I'm sorry, but... I'm there with little ones. It's meant to be a family place. The whole place just stinks of fag smoke everywhere you go. Whatever. That's just, I know that's just a, that's just a, a, one of those things that I probably wouldn't have minded about. It would have just been one of those, okay, it was a bit of annoying, but it's happened. If everything else hadn't have gone wrong in the day, I probably wouldn't have, wouldn't have brought that up. But it is really, when you're trying to sit there and feed a baby who's three months old and you're just, people are just breathing fag smoke all over you, it's horrible. Um, anyway, what was the next thing that happened? So yeah, we couldn't go on the, so then we went to try and get on the rides. The little ones couldn't get on the rides. So I said, okay, you big ones go off and do what you want to do. 
we'll take the little ones and they had one ticket like they could go into the smuggler's cove which is the um indoor outdoor soft play they can go yeah. in there one time now it's not it's not a tiny little soft play it's a big soft play center indoors and outdoors there's about 12 picnic benches outside there's seating areas inside with a cafe so we go around to go in there baby is asleep in her pram um and they say you can't bring the pram in and i said but i need to you know we need to come in i said there's, well, there's nowhere to leave your pram there's nowhere to leave your pram and you can't take the pram in so she said, well, can you take the top bit off? And I'm like, that's, that, no, <laughs> no. It's the baby says, I'm not going to take the baby out. What if I had had somebody, as somebody put on my blog last night, she has triplets and an older son. Yeah. So how would she supposed to be take, if she went on her own, three babies and an older one into the soft play? You, you can't do that. So, you know, if I was there on my own with the baby and the other one, how am I supposed to negotiate that? Plus the fact there was actually somebody else in there with a the buggy. So anyway, I said to Ben, I don't want to make a fuss. You take them in there. I'll go and sit outside. Joseph got scared anyway. So, you know, I think the whole day was too overwhelming for him. Yeah, and, it was. Um, mm. I mean, that's that's bad on our part. He has certain issues which we are sort of looking at at the moment. We're, we're aware of them, aren't we? We are aware of yeah. them. And it is something that we're looking into at the moment. But, you know, I thought that he would probably be okay with everybody else there because he normally is. But he was pretty freaked out by the whole day. So that I felt bad for anyway. But he came and sat out with me. So that was that was all right. He was all right while well, he was sitting with me and just watching the birds and stuff. So it was too much for him, really. Um, but so they went, he went inside with the little ones. The older ones were trying to go on some of the rides. And anything they went on, the staff were just really rude to them. And I mean, the kids have been brought up to be polite. Yeah. I know we have banter at home and everything else, but they have manners and they know how to behave in public. Um, and there's no need for them to be rude to them. Every single staff member, bar about three members of staff, had a real attitude problem. And other people have told me this now since I put them blog out last night. People are like, yeah, we had the same problem. Um, it's just no need for rude customer service. You basically pay, we paid 270 odd quid to go in there yesterday and you felt like you were doing them a favour by being there, yeah. didn't you? You felt like you were doing them a favour. Everything, everywhere you turned, there was things that they couldn't go on. There was, Toby couldn't go on the go-karts because he wasn't tall enough and he really wanted to go on the go-karts and he had his ticket to go on the go-karts, couldn't go on it because he wasn't tall enough. They wouldn't let him go on with the one of the older ones. Um... The girls, so Elizabeth, uh, sorry, Olivia and Isabel wanted to go on one of the twin go-karts together. But because they were 16 and 15, they wouldn't let them go on together because one of them wasn't over 18. It's just all these stupid little rules. And by the end of it, the last ride, that the so the little ones got turned away from one of, yeah. another one of the rides. Even though the girls weren't allowed on it because they were too big, but they wouldn't let the little ones go on without and over 18 but they couldn't go on it because they were too big it doesn't make any sense so once we got to that was me i was i just said to ben i, I just i've had enough i'm gonna go and complain there's too many things have happened today and the kids were crying they were upset well there's even there's even down to um you know you ask a member of staff because the, the only oh, the, the, the only the, the only place you can go and get a meal so so you're so in with the price you get this pizza each don't you so which was actually price. quite nice but um, so, but the, the the restaurant's upstairs. It's up quite a, quite a lot of flight of stairs, isn't it? So, when you get there, you get given a yeah. time. So you don't you don't they don't tell you that you've got a time. Yeah. I can see why they do it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying all that, but you don't get told beforehand you'll get given a time to go and eat. So we got given a time that we could go and get our pizza, which was quarter to two. Well, the kids were obviously quite hungry. Yeah. Luckily, we'd had snacks with us as well. But yeah. you know that's. Again, that's one of those things that you just go, oh, well, that's just one of those things. They've got a lot but, of people I mean, to cater for. That's fine. And the pizza was actually quite nice. But we went to ask if there was a lift. <laughs> I, I said, to one, of the, I said one, to one of the members of staff, I said, is there a lift up to the restaurant? She went, I don't know. That's what you got. And I went, all right. I said, is, is, there, any, is there anybody that does know? She went, I don't know. You'll have to ask around. And, and I was like, and that was it. No so, signpost so, to the lift. I mean, luckily, nothing. luckily we found it ourselves. The girls walked there, around and they found one right around yeah, the other side. But, so we could you get know, up to the restaurant. But it's just like... Wow, this is really you really don't care. It's like you um, really don't I, care. I just I can I can believe it myself, uh, and I'm quite tolerant of of stuff like that. But, but even when you get just... up, I mean, the the staff in the restaurant were okay and the food was okay, so that was you know that wasn't a a bad experience. But 
um i look i looked for so i looked for a baby change i couldn't find a baby change anywhere um it wasn't by the toilet so we asked if there was a baby change and basically got told there's something in the disabled toilets but we said but the disabled toilet's been locked for about 20 minutes because we thought there might be one in the disabled yeah. toilets and it was locked for like half an hour 40 minutes nobody kind of we looked around we couldn't find it. apparently there was one over the other side we couldn't find it anyway um i ended up she was screaming so i ended up just changing her on a bench outside um luckily it wasn't raining i mean it's just again one of those things but all of those things put together just made it just it was just awful and i think even even with all of those things if the customer service had been okay and we could have come to some resolution it would have been all right yeah but the customer service was just shocking the staff were so rude unbelievably rude apart from the one girl on the counter who i went back and i complained at too and i felt really guilty because i hate complaining and i hate upsetting people and she's just doing her job and she obviously gets complained at a lot and she was actually really attentive and she was she was really like but she she couldn't really do anything she said i'll get a manager now the manager came over and oh my god he was just as rude and obnoxious as the rest of them. He had an answer for every single thing that I said. And I said to him, you're not understanding what I'm saying. Yes, but if the terms and conditions say that, and yes, but this is a fire regulation, I understand all of that, but you're, you know, you're not understanding what I'm saying. You know, none of these things are very clearly stated. If you put it all together and you're one of those people that can go, well, you should have checked this and you should have checked. Okay, fair enough. But it doesn't stop me from being annoyed about it because it's hard enough going out as a large family yeah we know that that is our life we chose this life we're not complaining about that at all we're more you know we're more than happy to go out and do things we 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 organize them but we can't just pick up and go oh let's go here today or let's go there today we have to organize things we have to make sure that we've got you know a picnic if we need a picnic or we've got snacks if we need snacks if it's a long drive we've both got a drive because obviously we've got two cars you know, we need to make sure that this car's got this and this car's got that and everybody's got everything they need. So going on a day out for us and a, for any, a bit of, any a large family is, I mean, going on a day out with a family is a mission. Anybody who's got a family knows that. But when you multiply that, even we know that we're not complaining about that. That's not the bit we're complaining about. You know, it's we find it quite quite fun the kids love getting you know the the older girls love getting like it's exciting, picnic yeah. together and mm. they like you know olivia and elizabeth and uh, olivia and isabel sorry quite often do all the picnic they love it they they're like we're going to do this and we're going to put this in this bag and we're going to do this they're really organized so they love to get involved and do all those sorts of things as well so it's it's that's part of the fun of the day but you know i have issues with driving to aberdeen as it is i hate driving to aberdeen because it's got so many bad memories from when erin was in hospital it's a really i don't know whether it's a ptsd or whatever but it's a really it's a really triggering journey for me to make to aberdeen you know i'm all right for some of it it's a beautiful you know a lot of the road is beautiful but as soon as i get close to aberdeen my hands start sweating i start you know i can feel my jaw tensing i'm panicking it's living here we don't do much city driving no. i mean we used to you know when we lived down south we used to we used to drive up and down to Cornwall, up and down to North Wales. We used to live near Oxfordshire. So we used to do lots and lots of city driving, but we don't up here. So we're not used to it. So it's always a little bit of a, oh God, you know, big city, three lanes. It's always a bit like that anyway, because we're just like country people now. But for me, driving to Aberdeen is something completely different. I see all the, the like flash points that we used to get, you know, that's where the hospital turn off is. And it just, it's just, it must be some kind of like, but it's really triggering for me. So I can feel my hands start getting sweaty and I can feel my, you know, I can feel my whole, I start to panic. I can feel my chest getting tight and I'm trying to not, I'm trying to work through that, you know, chatting away with the kids and Olivia was chatting to me and I'm trying to just ignore all of that because I'm thinking we're going to get there in a minute. So it's already a difficult journey to make. But when you get there, finally and you're like okay it's fine it's not very well signposted either so we had to drive around about three different three times, times just yeah. to try and find the car park um which we found and there was no parking spaces so it's a bit stressful getting there so you're already but then to be faced with all of those other challenges for the day as well it just absolutely ruined the day didn't it, it was just the kids were crying the older ones were upset you know and i just thought it's just i've paid 300 pounds for my kids to be upset I mean, as it was, we had a little bit of money left over and I said to them, 
we'll try and save the day. We'll go and see if we can go into Innerflate next door for an hour. And we did. We used the money we had left over and we went um, into there for an hour, didn't we? They they, they really enjoyed it. They yeah, enjoyed yeah. Innerflate. Yeah, I made the most of it. it it's, you know, it, it's a good, yeah. fun place. I wouldn't drive two hours to get, to get there, but... Um, they had fun. So, you know, it's kind of saved the day a little bit for them, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. Um, and like I said, you know, we tried to make the most of a, a bad situation. But honestly, it's just shocking. If anybody is thinking of going to Cadona's, don't bother. Just do not bother. It's They, they build themselves as family fun entertainment. They're not they're not family friendly at all. Not for if you've got little kids. Um, well, the difficulty is, say, if, if you're if you're like one or two one or two parents that have got like four or five kids or whatever, or one parent with two or three kids, you can't go on any of the rides because well, they can't go just, on without an adult. Well, if like, you were a single parent, I, I even said to one of the staff, I said, "Well, what's the point in having this ride here then? Because like you can't you can't expect like one adult to to it's, I don't know. It's, if you were really a single if you were a single parent going yeah. with like maybe a three year old and a baby, um, you know, the baby couldn't go on the ride." And you're expected to take the three-year-old on. How are you going to? What you're just going to leave the baby on the side while you take the three-year-old on? Or you know, and and they yes they can turn around and say yeah, but it states that in the terms and conditions before you bought the ticket. But you still let them go and buy the ticket though, didn't you? And you didn't. You still let them come in and put the wristband on, and without telling them that actually you, you can plainly see that they won't be able to go on anything. But you still took their money and you still let them do it. You know, and you then then they found out, and then when they tried to get a refund or any kind of money back, well, you didn't read the terms and conditions, but you still took their money, and you still, you know, okay, you can blame it on the customer, and you can say it's your fault for not reading the terms and conditions, but you still took their money, and I just I just thought, you know, what if you were, you know, what if you're a disabled parent, or like I said, like that lady said, I thought that yesterday, you had so disabled triplets. access. I mean, there's certain things yeah. that you can't go on because of your foot. You know, you're not registered as being disabled, but you do have, you know, metal plate in your foot and you do struggle with certain things. So there's, you know, things that you, you can't, you can't bend your foot in certain ways. So there's I things don't, that I you don't, can't... I don't know if I've talked about that, but I, I, I crushed my foot at work a few years back and I had to get it all rebuilt. So um, it's never been right since, to be honest. But you do have mm -hmm. an issue. So there's, there's, you know, you can't walk certain distances and you can't, he can't bend his foot. His foot is fused. totally, is fused with a metal plate. So he can't. You know, he has no balance in his foot. I mean, the kids take the mick out of him because he'll fall over, you know, a piece of Lego and he's down on the ground. Oh, yeah, if I stand on a piece of Lego, yeah. I've been taken out by a sniper. But we, you know, we we take... That's what we do in this family. We try and make light of situations. Mm. You know, when bad things happen, we try and make light of situations because, you know, life can be... Things can get thrown at you all the time. But we try... And that's what we teach the kids to, to you know, try and make light of situations. So we do quite often. It doesn't mean that we don't care. But, you know, it's our way of of dealing with things but you know in all reality there are things that you can't do yeah and obviously we've got the baby as well and you know i couldn't she's three months old i can't take her on a on a on a waltzer can i do you know what i mean so i just i really felt for you know there was lots of kids sitting there there was one little girl when we were leaving who was crying because she wasn't allowed to go on stuff you know and as i don't like rides very much anymore i used to when you know, when I was younger, I went on all of them. I went to Orton Towers, did all the big rides. But since being a parent, I don't really like them anymore. So no. I don't really want to go on the waltzers. I've taken the kids to the fair loads of times. And they don't have a problem with the older ones going on with the younger ones. But obviously, it's their policy that that's not allowed to happen. Um, but like I said, they're still happy to take your money. And, you know, you want a nice fun day out. And it's not clearly stated it's it's stated somewhere down in in the depths of the terms and conditions, but it's not clearly stated, and it also doesn't state that the somebody has to be over eighteen either. I consider our older children to be extremely responsible, and if they're old enough to look after their siblings and old enough to hold down a job, which some of them do, then in my mind they're old enough to be considered as an adult. Yeah. If you know they're old enough to vote, then they're an adult, aren't they? You know, or a young adult at least. I don't. You know, they don't specify that you have to be over 18 to be an adult. But anyway, we didn't get the vlog done yesterday because it was horrendous, to be honest. And by the end of it, we were exhausted. 
it was, it, it's, it's, it's a real it's a real shame because we try we always want to keep upbeat and you know and show all the the and fun we like doing our vlogs but and you know fun we love... things that we do and and the fun the fun side of having a, a family and all that kind of but thing. it was but just disaster from turn to turn so, yesterday so, it was so, awful. i mean it, it was one of those things that do we make a vlog about it now i, I can't because I, I said to zoe i can't i can't advertise a place i mean i could have put a vlog together with the video that i had really uh, why well, no i couldn't actually no, I don't, I don't it was think awful because the kids kept crying because yeah. they couldn't agnes was in bits because she wasn't allowed to go on stuff so no, she was actually, just no. she was breaking her heart because she wasn't allowed to go on stuff um because she wanted to go on this thing and they wouldn't let her on and she was absolutely breaking her heart and she, the only time she managed to salvage it a little bit because she went in the soft play well i could have tried to put something i could have tried to cobble something together but at the end of the day, I, what I didn't want to do was to advertise a place that I just didn't enjoy for one minute. I, I didn't enjoy being in there. I was constantly locked. You know, you constantly. You were literally pushed from pillar to post as well, weren't you? You were pushed yeah, along wherever you it's, went. It's and difficult. It wasn't overly busy, so there was no there was no need. Like we went to Landmark a few weeks or the other week, and I mean, up, people that live up here will have heard them advertising on the radio um, for staff members. And um, at the beginning of the season there's certain things they couldn't open because they didn't have enough staff members i think they employ quite a lot of youngsters and obviously with the housing crisis and everything else this is totally another subject but it's another one of those places avonmore is becoming one of those places that there's a lot of second homeowners so people can't afford to live there now it would be if we lived close by that would be an ideal job for our kids yeah, to go and get they'd yeah. have a great a whale of a time working yeah. there in the summer and the kids do and they love it working there in the summer season you know they get food they get really good perks it's a great job to have for the summer but obviously there's not so many kids living there at the moment because people can't afford to live there so they can't get the staff anyway some of those staff at landmark were running around like but they they were friendly they were kind there was one lad who was who was running between three of the all three of the ropes so you've got the high ropes you've got the medium and you've got the little ones for the toddlers he was running up and down he was, yeah. but he was so friendly and so lovely and he was you know he was interacting with the kids he was interacting with the adults and you could see he was running around and he was like waving going i'll be there in a second you know just really really just lovely enjoying his job. staff you know the, the people on the boats they're all really lovely staff they all have you know, they're all friendly, they're all polite. That's the kind of thing you expect. You know, a lot of us don't like our jobs. You know, a lot of us don't want to go to work. Doesn't mean that you have to be rude to people. You know, I teach the kids to be polite. You're br they're brought up to be polite and well-mannered. There's no need for rudeness. No need at all. Absolutely no need at all. I said that to the manager who was just not interested in anything that I was saying. And in the end, I just said to Ben, I'm going to have to leave because I'm just getting more and more angry. So we just left in the end. And I will be writing a letter of complaint, but I'm not going to hold my breath because from what people have said, the management up higher don't really care much either. So, you know, probably nothing will come of it. But just for anybody that's planning on going there, don't don't bother. Don't go there. It's it just it was real. Hard, right? It was it was it was awful, mm -hmm. to be honest. The only thing that saved the day was going to inflate for a little bit. But um it was it was rubbish i would never i will never ever go there again i'll never ever go there again i'll never give them my money and never go there again ever well there you go guys i'm really sorry we couldn't bring bring you an upbeat video about our trip to Cadonis, but it didn't really happen that way but um anyway we're gonna make we'll probably try and make up for it by doing something else when we soon um probably not this week now but um because i've got to go back no, to work on monday to work and and then you're away for a week yeah so, the, and that's the end of the holiday next then. next week i'm away on my hgv my first of my hgv courses so um that's the last week yeah, of our holidays so um so tomorrow tomorrow randomly tomorrow we were approached by a german tv company that wanted to film a bit um with us didn't they tomorrow yeah um budgeting and kind of yeah so, so they're so they're gonna be they're gonna be filming with us tomorrow which is which will be saturday and then on sunday we've got the bbc scotland film with us again haven't we so, so um, i'm not sure how many vlogs will get done this week. that's what i'll say but i know zoe zoe's in the process of filming a vlog about um agnes's clothes yeah i'm filming a vlog about agnes's five to six clothes but it's she's just got so many so <laughs> many i started it the other day and i'm like oh my god there's just so many so i'm it's kind of a couple of day um thing i'm gonna try and do some more tonight but that will be out at some point yeah and you'll probably do some um you'll probably do some day in the life vlogs i'll do some vlogs next week yeah. when you're back at work yeah. as well yeah i'm not yeah. quite sure the, the weather's not been great so but we've got all right we've got our eye on a couple week. of places maybe later on in a few weeks time that we might go and visit and have a look 
um, just around and about, just to just to kind of make up. For and we've them. promised the kids another trip back to Landmark, haven't we? At, the, at some point for um, Olivia's birthday in October, they normally do a foam day at the end of the year um, when they close all the yeah. rides. So we've promised them to go back there for later in the year to kind of make up for the shambles that was yesterday. <laughs> Anyway, guys, there you go. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It's a bit more of an honest vlog than anything else. It's really frustrating for us because obviously we like to keep our channel upbeat and everything, but sometimes you just say, we, we, we were both talking, weren't we? We were just like, I don't want, to, I don't want to, to tell it how it wasn't. It was terrible. So that's why we did this vlog. But anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please subscribe to our channel. Please hit the bell for notifications. Uh, drop, us a, drop us a like. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.